Hi there, this is question 13 from the June 2011 Unit 3 at Excel Maths paper. And um, we're looking at a proportionality question. So in this case, it tells us that Y is directly proportional to X. That tells us that we can write the first stage of our working as Y is proportional to X. So this is a Greek letter alpha. And in this context, it means proportional to. Um, because y is proportional to x, it means as x changes, y changes. And because they're just directly proportional to y is just directly proportional to x, it means we can change it into an equation where some number is multiplied by x to give y. And that's the nature of the direct proportionality. It tells us that when x is 600, so if you take k and times it by 600, you should get 10. So therefore we can work out the value of k by dividing both of the sides of this particular equation by 600. And that means that k is 1 60th. You just cancel a factor of 10 in the top and the bottom of that fraction. So that means if we put k back into our equation, that means that y is equal to 1 60th of x or alternatively could be written as x over 60. We can now use that formula so y equals x over 60 um, to help us calculate the value of y when x is 540. So y will be if we replace our x with 540 and you'll see that that cancels down to give you 9. So in this case, y is 9. This one was just said that y is directly proportional to x. It's just worth saying if it said y is directly proportional to the cube of x then you do the same process we'd have to work with x cubed giving you y equals k x cubed and then you'd have to put the values of x and y in but making sure that you cube the x one before you then divided y by it and also the other option is something might be inversely proportional let's just say to x squared or the square of x in which case you'd set up your equation as not with both an equals and a proportional sign we just go back to just the proportional sign so y is proportional to 1 over x squared and therefore y would equal k over x squared so if the question was phrased differently as I've done in blue that's how you would adapt to be able to create a formula for those different situations. I hope that helped rather than hindered. Um, thank you very much for your time.